So this this one's being held in by I can see a, a screw right here and a screw right here. We'll pull those out. We'll pull the dishwasher out. Uh, Mila usually gives you enough drain hose and fill line where you don't have to disconnect them under the dishwasher, but we'll we'll check that. Usually you can just disconnect here and here or sometimes on the side and you can get the dishwasher out to work on it. So it's good to unplug it and then we're going to take out a few screws here that are holding it in and it could be that you have screws here and here or it could be at the top so in this case we're going to be going at the top okay, that one just came out all right we're going to see if we can kind of wiggle it out now all right looks good we're also going to remove the uh, bottom panel, the trim piece come out, and then we're going to lift a little bit to get the feet over <clears throat> over this rim. Left panel, we're going to take out this Phillips head screw here. Get that one out. And then we got a couple on the top. We got one in the very back down here. Okay, now that panel will come off. We'll wiggle that off the bottom. Oh, by the way, I want to show you guys um, on the incognito model, this is the heater right here and this is what's heating up the water comes up and um, it has a reset button right here you can see it the red button you can press that press that one <clears throat> these these are in case these get too hot these pop out and then to reset them you don't have to buy a new heater you can just take off this panel on the left hand side press it on that red button or that red button <clears throat> those are thermal cutoffs if it gets too hot and you can see the ends of the element here so this heats the water up as it goes through it's pretty cool that's where the power comes or it's the yeah that's where the power is coming in on this side there's the ground there's the power coming in on the other side right here and those are just protecting so if it gets too hot. So if you end up with no heat on the incognito model, maybe you just need to go in and press these little resets. Okay, let's get this panel back on. So I believe we put the bottom part on first. And we kind of lift, lift up for it to catch. So there's a, if you look at this panel, there's a lip right here. It's going to go over this part. So that's got to be the first step. Let's come in at a diagonal, connect that lip. Now, close this up. I'll open up the door. Get that up higher than this panel lift a little bit. There we go. Those screws look good. And we have a sc screw here we got to put in too. Let's go ahead and start these two. So this is the left side of the dishwasher when you're facing it from the front. Okay. Screw here in the front too. So you open the door. All 
Oh yeah, we got really good uh, spring resistance now. That's great. Got a little screw right here we got to put in. <clears throat> I'm push in on that panel. I'm just going to put this back in. Turn it off for now. Kind of push and wiggle. There we go. So you don't want a Miele drain hose to come directly into the disposer like this. It's far better if you can have the hose go in a high arc first, up like this higher than the disposer. It'd be much better. I'm going to use a zip tie to get it held up there, but then if the sink floods, that water will not flow backwards and flood your Mila. I'm going to try to get it around this thing. So now the drain hose goes up in a high arc, higher than the disposer. So if this floods, water comes into here. If it can't escape here, it'll go out here. It'll go in here and come up to here and stop. But before it could just flow down backwards and then flood the dishwasher. So that fixes that. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.